Open Heavens on the Go, Friday, June 11th, 2021. Topic, Let There Be Order. Memory Verse, 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Bible Reading. 2 Thessalonians 3, 6 to 7. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, and not after the tradition which he received of us. For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, for we behaved not ourselves disorderly among you. The message. Many people do not know the depth of the saying, Our Father is a God of order. They quote this statement without giving it much thought. Orderliness is a characteristic of heaven, as we see in Psalm 136, 5 to 9. Every confusion in your life will be divinely ordered today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will set in order all that pertains to you in Jesus' name. In the beginning, God ordered the course of the universe by his word. This is the reason we must give the word of God prominence in our lives. The Lord said, I will hasten my word to perform it. Jeremiah 1.12 the Almighty God does not hold his word lightly like some of us do. Bible teachings come in form of doctrines which we must follow if we are to live orderly lives. Jesus Christ said, If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. John 7.17 17. Disobedience to God's order brings chaos and calamity. Genesis 2, 15 to 16. Genesis 3, 2 to 5 and 16, 19. I encourage you to begin to value the word of God, even as he himself values it. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Psalm 138, verse 2. By his word, the Almighty ordered the course of the universe, the seas in their places, the dry land, the animals, and variety of vegetation. God had made provision for everything that man needs. This means that lack was not originally planned to characterize the life of man. To avoid lack, you must pay close attention to the words of the great provider. May the Lord provide in abundance everything that you need in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point. Father, please set my life in order and don't allow lack to disorganize me in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year. 1 Samuel 17 to 18. Him for today, Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.